everybody, it's Brenda again. And I told you I was probably gonna scrape that other one, and I did. So now instead of doing a Dutch pour, we're gonna do a ring pour. And it's actually quite a lot of fun. We start out by layering our paints in a cup. And I like to layer them so that they try to stay in a layer instead of getting all muddy. I go down the side of the cup, kinda of like that. Put in the amount you want. And I've got blues and greens and one red and some golds. And the next we're gonna do the, the blue. And most of my paints are folk art. Some of them are uh, Versa. But right now I'm just trying to use up old paints, but they're all acrylic arts and crafts paints. Like I said in an earlier video, I'm going to go to, uh, I'll start getting better paints as I get better. Let's add some gold in here. Then I'm going to add my one red, my cardinal red here. And let's add this color of teal. On top of that and the the amount you put in determines how big or how little your rings are as you're pouring them it's really kind of cool let's put a dark green on top of that and we'll do the silver And because it's a favorite color, we'll go back to the cardinal red. <laughs> Just because I can, we'll put white on top of that one. And let's put this aqua. We've got a lot of it, so we're gonna actually make a big ring. And maybe some gold on top of that. Do some green on top of that one. Then we'll do the navy. I'll show you what the cup looks like here in just a few minutes. And this one I did add some silicone oil to, so we can get some of those cells pop up, I hope. Uh, let's go with some more silver. I think on top of the blue this time I'm going to add more of that cardinal. Maybe we'll get a purple out of it. Let's add the dark green on top of that cardinal. teal green or the aqua green. Some of these outer layers are getting a lot of paint in them. A lot of the same color. Put the gold in. And we'll go for this teal. I'll show you. I think I have a little bit of the navy left. Let's put it in. Now here's what the top of my cup looks like. You will see. And here's what the side looks like with all the paint layered. So what I'm going to do is just real slowly come back to this side where I layered it. And we're going to start. We're going to go in a ring, in a circle. 
and then we'll come slower into the center of the circle and then we'll just start pouring in rings and round and round it's already starting to form cells inside the cup so that's pretty cool This is the biggest canvas that I've done a, an actual pour on. I hope you can see those colors coming out. They're kind of cool. It looks really cool in there. And then we'll get the white right in the center, which is kind of what I wanted. All right. So then we're going to hit it with the heat gun just real quick, just to pop any air bubbles, and to get those cells started forming. And I'm going to put a little bit of this base paint around it just so that it has something to spread out on. All right. And then we're just going to pick it up and start moving paint around. And we'll very slowly start to just kind of swirl it around. And try real hard not to get it not to get in your way I may have put too much silicone in there that doesn't look like it's sticking then we're going to kind of bring the paint off and then we'll bring it back. And we'll come off this side. Bring it down to this corner. Bring it back. Move it around a little bit. Grab it by the pins. If we bring it back down this way, what'll happen? Get more of that blue in. Can you see? I hope I'm not in your way. I'm trying to get my ends covered. I 
think I probably didn't have enough paint. Probably should have used a bigger cup. The first time I've done a canvas this big, and this canvas was just one that uh, had another painting on it that I painted. At a sip, paint and sip night. And so I decided I could paint over it. So, I don't know. Today just may not be a good paint day for me. Let's take the heating torch to it, see what we got. So you guys are really getting to see a lot of my fails. <laughs> um, not sure about that one. Not sure I'll want to keep that one or not, but uh, we shall see. Anyway, let me get you down a little closer, show you kind of what colors we've got and how things are working. See if we can see that gold in there, the gold and the silver that I put in there. I think I just had too big of a canvas and not enough paint. And it looks like it kind of swallowed the, the metallic paint. Maybe I got that too thin. You see my big work mess area. I kind of like that color right there. I like that look. But yeah, I don't see any of the uh, metallics that I put in there, and I put quite a bit. Okay. And yes, Seppi, I'm doing this at home. This is in my garage. All right, well, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll post again soon, I'm sure.